Hey, squad, have you ever thought of what it was like to go through three hard-fought rounds that you needed to win to get that championship belt? This workout is three three-minute rounds where we tired your legs using resistance training. I push you hard on the heavy bag or shadow boxing to simulate those maximum amount of combinations that you would need to throw to win the fight. And of course, a little bit of active recovery work and defense throughout the session. This is all about that game time win. Pushing hard to win the belt. You worked hard. So I just need you to get mentally focused. And this is what it feels like to go through three hard fought rounds to win that championship belt. You ready guys? This is gonna be a burner. <laughs> One minute, you will not lose. You didn't come here for that. Okay, 90 degrees in that front leg is good. Horse tight, shoulders locked in. The first thing we're gonna do is review the combination. So if you're a true beginner, you can still get a feel for this. We'll do it quickly. Punches one to six, a little bit of defense so you know. Anytime we're working the, the freestyle on the heavy bag, you can just throw th straight punches, mix those up. Throw some defense in there so that you don't hesitate. Eliminate hesitation on this. There's no room for hesitation when it's about winning that championship fight. Let's go. In your boxing stance, your dominant foot goes behind you. Sit on your legs, hands up. Lead hand is in the front. Obviously, rear hand is in the back. Work your jab to number one. Good. Number one. Work that. Jab. Jab and number one are the same punch. Jab. Cross. This is the rear hand, number two. Cross. Look at your target. Cross. Good. Now put those together. The jab cross. Good. Hit the same spot with both punches on the heavy bag. Jab cross. If you're shadow boxing, jab cross. Jab cross. Look at your target. Okay. Lead hook. Right there. So the same hand you throw your jab with, you throw your lead hook with of the number three. Both odd numbers. The one and the three. Throw in the one, two, three. So it goes left, right, left, or lead, rear, lead. One, two, three. One, two, three, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Jab, cross, lead hook, stay on your legs. Jab, cross, lead hook. One, two, three. Elbows tight. One, two, three. Once you're done punching, guard up. One, two, three. Okay, rear hook. Number four. Boom, number four right there. Okay, same as the three. Shoulder blade stays down. Don't overshoot past your own rib cage on the opposite side. Boom, right there. Number four. One, two, three, four. Move. One, two, three, four. Move. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's the jab the cross, the lead hook, the rear hook, now the lead uppercut. So you see we're going from odd to even, odd to even. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Jab, cross, lead hook, rear hook, lead uppercut, tight position, go. Scrape the bag on the uppercut. One, two, three, four, five. If you're using a water bag, get underneath it. Hands come back up before you throw to five. Now the rear uppercut. Six, your last punch. Six. One, two, three, four, five. Six, good. Good. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you can step forward or backwards when you're comfortable doing that. On the side. Five, six, and then slip, slip, cover. Do this with me. That's a slip left, slip right, cover. Slip to your lead side, slip to your rear side, cover right down the middle. Slip, slip, cover. Slip, slip with me, cover. Slip, slip, cover. Stay on your legs. Slip, slip, cover. Slip, slip, cover. All right, guys, let's go for it. We're gonna do your weights first so you can take your gloves off, get ready. Let's grab a heavy dumbbell 
what we're gonna do is little exposures first in your first round to get you guys amped up. We're gonna fatigue your legs coming up in about 15 seconds. Let's go, grab a heavy weight. If you don't have a weight, just do it without the weights. You ready? Let's go. All right, guys, let's go. Three minutes, get in position. Put the weight right between your ankles. Drop down, grab it, drop it, bring it back up. You're really bracing your core, using your legs to pick this up with a nice vertical torso. And try to keep your shoulder blades down, okay? Your toes can be slightly turned out. Don't turn them out too far, guys. Go to where your stance allows you to sit and then really think about feeling your core legs spread the floor with your feet as you come down and push up and we'll get some power through those legs and we want that fatigue so you can feel what it's like to have those tired legs and still have to punch one more here bring the weight up feet together we're hip width Good, now goblet squat. A little pause at the bottom. If you don't have a weight, just do it without weights. If you want to double your speed without weights, that's cool too. Remember, three minute round, same as a boxing round. That's what we're doing. Flex your core to control the weight. Your chest is vertical. Think about your elbows being either on top or just inside your knees. One more. Put the weight in your left foot or your left hand. Step back with your right one. Here, bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. 30 seconds per side. Keep that weight to the side by flexing hard. That's why the weight has to be heavy, guys. Switch hands, go. Again, 90 degrees in that front leg is good. Core is tight, shoulders locked in. Try to pull the heel through the floor and back towards you as you stand to the top. We really want that fatigue to set in. One more. Good. Keep the weight like this. Deadlift. Hinge, pull. Squeeze two oranges between your armpits while keeping your shoulder blades down and back and try to pull the top of this dumbbell apart. Good, sit back into that. One more. Weight goes down. Gloves on. One minute freestyle as hard as you can, non-stop. Fatigue, doesn't matter. Energy, does. Will, you know it's there. Let's go. Remember, if you're new, just do this. Everybody else, let's go. One minute, you will not lose. You didn't come here for that. Last three rounds. guys inside or out power no excuses yeah 
Ten seconds. Defense. Movement. Covers. Slips. Movement. Covers. Slips. Ready? One minute, go. This isn't about defense. Every once in a while, show me something. Gotti Ward, what defense? One of the best trilogies in history. Come on guys, don't give in. I told you you have to dig in, you have to want it. I'm breathing hard already. 10 seconds. Squats. Fast, go. Last round, right here. Squats. Come on, feel your legs. Feel that heart rate. Feel the power of your intensity. Air squats, beat through the floor, push away. At my pace. If you gotta beat me, you gotta beat me. Don't let me win, guys. Dumbbells for resistance. Heavy leg workouts. Money. Reverse lunge, stay here, pulses, go. Pulse, do not stop, pulse. This is what it's like, lactic acid in your arms, legs, and it happens so fast. Pulse, vertical torso. Two minutes in the championship fight, switch. Two minutes in the championship fight. Yeah. Breathe and move. Feel that front leg take off. Don't stop moving. No edits, guys. Straight through. Hope that camera's on. 10. Three. One. Let's go. Heavy bag. One minute, three, two, let it go. Body first. All body. Break them down further. Left foot underneath the heavy bag. All body champion. All body. All good. Break the arms down. Break the rib cage down. Up top. Remember, if you're new, straight punches. Everyone else, mix it up. Now, body head. Ready? Four in the body, four in the head, finish. Uh, uh, uh. 
No, you will not lose. Come on. Four up top, four down low. All out, five seconds. Now you are the champion. You showed them what it takes to dig in, get it done, to wear that championship belt. Good job. And there you have a squad. Three minute rounds times three, the ultimate afterburner. What is it like to go through three rounds at the end of a boxing match? One of the things for me is when I was boxing, feeling my lungs like that was a continuous. It happened every single time I fought, no matter if it was one round or six, it didn't matter. I always had that same feeling because I did not want to lose those fights. So it's a great way for you to get an exposure, some stimulus, to know what it's like to have to fight and push mentally, physically, and maybe even emotionally. Thanks for joining me guys. Try this after a workout like the 20 minute heavy bag workout to get you shredded or the 20 minute heavy bag workout for beginners. Those are on the channel now. If you wanna try those out, that's gonna allow you to get more of a workout in before and use this as a burner, but the, all the tools are there so that you guys get the feel of the flavor of this session. Thanks for watching guys. NatePowerElevated.com for Elevated Heavy Bag Hit, BoxCon 2.0. Elevated BoxCon hit is also live plus 200 more videos. So if you want to join me there, you can do that. And if you're a true beginner, the beginner heavy bag series are there to help guide you all the way through your boxing needs. Hit that big red subscribe button and that yellow notifications bell so you know when workouts are coming out and you help the channel grow. And I'll see you beautiful people for the next video.